the Nephilim, a hybrid species that inhabited our Earth. The Nephilim and fallen angels were real according to countless ancient texts and legends. The Nephilim were a race of giants who came to dominate before the Great Flood. These mysterious beings are referred to in ancient texts as giants, descendants from the fallen angels. They were the product of illicit relations between fallen angels and humans before the flood in Noah's Ark, so the texts and legends go. The word Nephilim is the untranslated pronunciation of untranslated Hebrew Nephilim, fallen or feller, the uh, ty tyrant or bully, giant, and in some English traditions the Nephilim are referred to as giants. Interestingly, the Greek Septuagint Nephilim was used to describe giants. However, the name Nephilim is also used frequently when describing the race of giants who inhabited Canaan at the time of the Israelite conquest according to Numbers 13.33. However, there is considerable confusion surrounding these mysterious beings, which according to ancient texts were real and inhabited Earth in the distant past. Looking at ancient texts, we will notice that in the Hebrew Bible, the word Nephilim occurs on two occasions both times in the Torah, one, the first one being Genesis 6, 1-4, just before the story of Noah's Ark, and the second is Numbers 13, 32-33, when spies sent to Canaan reported seeing fearsome giants. Genesis 6, 4, the Nephilim were in the earth in those days, and also after that, when the sons of God came unto the daughters of men, and they bore children to them, the same were the mighty men that were of old, the men of renown. Numbers 13.33 And there we saw the Nephilim, the sons of Anak, who came of, who come of the Nephilim, and we were, in, they, we were in our sight as grasshoppers, and so we were in their sight. Looking at the definition of Nephilim, it's hard to understand the nature of these beings, since Genesis 6.4 makes it hard to understand the differenti and differentiate whether these beings are in fact the sons of God, quote unquote, or their offspring, who are the mighty men of old, men of renown, is perhaps obvious to interpret the Nephilim as how they are described, a hybrid race between two distinct beings. This leads us to one of the most important and controversial questions when talking about the Nephilim. Were they a hybrid extraterrestrial species? Well, according to the above facts, the answer, the answer is a rotund yes. Most authors will firmly agree that the Nephilim were, in fact, a hybrid race between the fallen angels called the B'nai Ha Elohim, sons of God, in Hebrew, meaning that these beings were not natives to earth, but were, in fact, heavenly beings, descendants of the fallen angels. Interestingly, in many ancient religious texts, the Nephilim are referred to as giants or titans, while many other ancient texts have failed to explain what these beings were. In the Bible, it clearly states, and is used as a traditional interpretation, that heavenly beings, quote-unquote, mated with humans, an extremely controversial claim rejected by many. In the Book of Enoch, the following text is used to describe the Nephilim. It happened after the sons of men had multiplied in those days that daughters were born to them elegant and beautiful, and when the angels, the sons of heaven, beheld them, they became enamored of them, saying to each other, Come, let us elect for ourselves wives from the progeny of men, and let us beget children. Then their leader, Samayaza, said to them, I fear that you may perhaps be indisposed to the performance of this enterprise, and that I alone shall suffer for so grievous a crime. But they answered him and said, We all swear, and bind ourselves by mutual execrations, that we will not change our intention, but execute our projected undertaking. Then they swore all together, and all bound themselves by mutual execrations. Their whole number was two hundred, who descended upon Ardis, which is the top of Mount Armon. Hermon, in other words. Uh, now that mountain, therefore, was called Armon because they had sworn upon it and bound themselves by mutual execrations. Mount Armon or Mount Hermon derives its name from the Hebrew word harem, a curse. 
These are the names of the chiefs, Sai Samiaza, who was their leader, Uraka Baramiel, Arkibiel, Tamiel, Ramuel, Danel, Zakiel, Saraknail, Asael, Amers, Batrael, Anan, Zavebe, Sam Savel, Etrael, Turel, Yom Yael, Arazial, and these were the prefix of the 200 angels, and the remainder were all with them. Then they took wives, each choosing for himself who they began to approach and with whom they cohabited, teaching them sorcery, incantations, and divided the roots of trees. And the women conceived brought forth giants, whose stature was each 300 cubits. These devoured all which the labor of men produced until it became impossible to feed them. When they turned themselves against men in order to devour them, they began to injure birds, beasts, reptiles, fishes, to eat their flesh one after another and to drink their blood, their flesh one after another. Then the earth reproved the unrighteous. Moreover, as Aziel taught men to make swords, knives, shields, breastplates, the fabrication of mirrors, and the workmanship of bracelets and ornaments, the use of paint, the beautifying of the eyebrows, the use of stones of every valuable and select kind, and all sorts of dyes so that the world became altered. Impiety increased, fornication multiplied, and they transgressed and corrupted all their ways. Amazarak taught all the sorcerers and dividers of roots. Armors taught the solution of sorcery. Bar Kayal taught the observers of the stars. Akibael taught signs. Tamel taught astronomy and Asaradel taught the motion of the moon. And men being destroyed cried out, and their voice reached to heaven, Enoch 6, 7. From all of the above mentioned, we can understand that while there are numerous documents refer making reference to the Nephilim, it's clear that these beings were not natives to earth and were in fact a hybrid species, only half human in nature. This is from Ancient Code and it's on bended reality. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.